Last week on the channel, we took a closer look at one of Pilot's most popular fountain pen model, the Pilot Metropolitan or Cocoon. However, there is another pen that is getting overshadowed by the Metropolitan, and I would like to make the case that this is one of the most convenient and underrated way to introduce someone into the world of fountain pen, and also an alternative to the traditional dip pen to some extent, and that is the writing instruments we'll be looking at today, the Pilot Penmanship. In this video, I'll go through parts of the pen, detail shots, provide you with writing samples, and make the case that this pen is more convenient for beginner calligraphy learners in general. This pen was introduced sometime in 2014 with the only nib option available in Extra Fine. At first, you might have a laugh at the unusual torpedo design, but when I first held it in my hand, in the writing position, everything clicked together. The cap is rather inadequately short compared to the long tapered contour of the pen, with no clip attached to it other than the two notches acting as roll stopper. The cap can be posted to the back of the pen to prevent it from rolling around, which it does tend to do more often than not. Unscrews revealing the typical small steel nib that we'll get to later, and the cap is connected to the triangular section. A great number of people are put off by this seemingly restricted design. However, with the removable feet and nib, you could actually adjust the angle of the nib and a grip to get it as close as possible to how you would like to hold your pen. Plus, there's more. If you've been a fan of pilot pens and own some of their entry models such as the Metropolitan, Prera, or Kakunas, you could swap out the nib for a different feel to the writing experience. Back to the pen. The barrel is tapered and long enough to be used unposted, and from afar, the silhouette of the pen resembles those vintage desk pens you could still find in some banks or reception desks, with the perks of being more compact and sturdier than most of them. Even though the plastic used to mold this pen might feel brittle in the hand at times, the pen could fit a smaller Con 50 or 40 or a Pilot cartridge and with the extra fine nib, it can go for quite a while before your next refill. The nib has a no fuss design, which is the brand name Pilot, super quality Japan, and the nib size indicator extra fine. Combining with a relatively simple clear feed that gives the overall look a vintage feel to it. And the performance for the price is comparable to other entry pilots, despite the stiff nib still gives out a consistent amount of ink flow and the line produced is crips with minimal line variation and that can be a good thing in and of itself. If you are someone who is in looking into learning calligraphy, especially Mona Line Spencerian or Business Cursive, this is one of the pens I would recommend you check out first and foremost. The small amount of investment put into this pen has given me so many hours of scribbling and drilling ovals in figure 8 that contributed to the current style of handwriting that you guys could see now. There are the occasional nip wipes since the tipping catches fiber quite easily and also the pen dries out that leads to hard start or skipping at times but overall the writing experience is exceptional with this pen nonetheless if you're on a tight budget a pen such as this penmanship a bottle of pilot black and a tiny notebook are all you need to get started i would love to know your thoughts on this particular pen as well do you own a penmanship in your collection how is your overall experience with it for what kind of writing do you tend to gravitate towards this and who would you recommend this writing instruments to if you enjoy the content don't forget to like and comment your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell so you don't miss any of the latest content thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one